One thing is clear from MP Randeep Sarai experience as a member of parliament over the last six years, he said, Canada needs workers and Canada needs immigration. Canada needs workers and Canada needs immigration. By making permanent residency more accessible to more individuals who have devoted time and energy and made sacrifices for the benefit of our communities and our economy, we will help our country flourish and grow. What is the Temporary Farm Worker Program? The Temporary Farm Worker Program is an important and essential part of Canada's immigration system. It allows Canadian employers to open temporary jobs to foreign workers when Canadians are unable to fill the positions. Despite the large number of individuals coming to Canada each year as TFWs, it is not enough and we need to do more to find employees to fill job vacancies. According to the Standing Committee on Citizenship and Immigration's June 2021 report, Immigration Programs to Meet Labor Market Needs, there are several sectors and regions in Canada experiencing labor shortages. Immigration policy as it stands is not meeting the needs of the labor market. Health services, agriculture, manufacturing, service industries, trades, and transportation are particularly vulnerable to being underrepresented in our current economic immigration programs. COVID-19 pandemic, especially in the beginning months, exposed the delicate nature of our temporary farm worker programs. Thousands of TFWs stepped up to make sure our seniors received care. Trucks kept moving, grocery stores were stocked, and restaurants stayed open. Many faced delays renewed or renewing their permits. They were uncertain of their status and uncertain if they would remain employed. However, they remained steadfast and helped to keep our country moving and functioning. In its report, the Standing Committee on Citizenship and Immigration urged IRCC to make more accessible pathways to permanent residents available in order to prevent the abuse of foreign workers with the precarious status of out-of-status individuals. Temporary foreign workers are hard-working individuals. They face the risk of exploitation and challenging work environments and are important contributors to the communities they live in. Unfortunately, for all the risks they face and the hard work and sacrifices they make for our community and economy, they do not receive adequate reward for their effort. Another persistent obstacle faced by temporary foreign workers and their employers includes the need to renew every two years. This means that employers and workers have to go through the process frequently. Employers must make new LMI applications and advertise extensively. Once they receive approval, which can take months, they have to get the employees to apply for new work permits, which takes months again, adding to uncertainty and stress as many TFWs do not know if they have medical benefits or whether their children can attend school until their approvals are processed. This process is repeated several times as those who do who this motion wishes to address have no pathway to permanent residency. TFWs also face challenges to qualify for permanent residency. Despite their valuable contributions to our communities and economy and great employment records, over a number of years working in this country, obstacles like a lack of higher education and low language testing scores put TFWs at a disadvantage. This can be more frustrating for temporary farm workers and their families as their language and skills are sufficient for the work they do but not enough to grant them permanent residency in Canada. They may have or they may have working language skills but not a high enough IELTS score. They may have a class 1 driver's license to drive long haul trucking but only a grade 12 education and therefore may not meet the requisite point score. Imagine the frustration of both the employee and employer when a person is good enough to do a job but not good enough to become a permanent resident of this country.